It's about 10, 10. Thank you for joining us this evening for uh, New Mexico State men's basketball uh, postgame press conference uh, with, with head coach Chris Jans. Uh, coach, obviously, uh, you know, just please give us an opening statement about, uh, you know, what was, what was a hard fought game from, uh, for, from start to finish here tonight in Phoenix against Grand Canyon. Yeah, we, uh, came out on the losing end of a, a big game for both programs. Obviously you can look at the numbers and, you know, the tail of the tape is pretty obvious, um, you know, we, we didn't shoot very well. You know, some of that, um, it's got to be credit to their defense. Some of it's got to be, we got to run better offense to get better shots. And, you know, that's on me to, to put our guys in better positions so we can get better shots. And certainly, you know, guys got to step up and, and make open shots uh, when they're presented to them. But um, we had our chances. You know, we had we had plenty of chances uh, in the second half to, um, you know, build on a small lead that we had or put ourselves in position to make it a one possession game. But, you know, tip of the hat to those guys and they kept grinding and fighting and, and made a couple plays down the stretch that were pivotal and uh, ended up getting a big win for them. Coach Jabari and Clayton made their returns just a few days after being in boots on Monday. What did you see out of them in this one? What you'd expect for guys that have been in our program for as long as they've had, you know, they competed their tails off. Um, you know, I told the team in the locker room, it wasn't a lack of effort. And, and I didn't know going into the game if that would be an issue for us. I just, I don't, I didn't know. We hadn't played in a game like this and I was nervous that way, but that was a positive. You know, it felt familiar. But the guys were flying around and competing and doing the things that we asked them to do, but um, you know, Clayton, uh, Nord Jabari, you know, one for seven from three, but you know, they were defending and, and playing with great effort and passion. And um, certainly they weren't, um, you know, their win wasn't quite there and the rhythm wasn't quite there, but um, they gave great effort. Chris, was it the, was it the plan for you guys to come in and attack the offensive glass the way you did tonight? Because I mean, it was literally amazing to watch what you guys were doing on the offensive glass. I don't want to take anything away from our guys, but we missed a lot of shots. You know, there were a lot of offensive rebounds that were available because uh, we missed a lot of shots. So I'll have to watch the film to see if, you know, it was our effort or um, we just had so many come back to us because of missing so many shots. But, you know, that's something that we take a lot of pride in. Uh, if you look at the history of our program, at least since we've been here, we've always been a pretty good percentage rebounding team on both ends of the floor. And, you know, I didn't know if we would this year. I just didn't know because of uh, lack of games, you know, a lot of new guys, et cetera. So that certainly was a positive. I thought we battled at least on the glass. And, you know, going to the game, it's obviously something they take a lot of pride in as well. They're I think leading the country in rebound differential. They're second in Ken Palm in defensive rebounding percentage and 43rd offensively. And there were some big time numbers. And so certainly was a point of emphasis for us. And obviously it's a point of emphasis for them, but no, that's not the scoreboard. You know, they don't have rebounds for the Aggies, and rebounds for the Lopes and whoever has the most wins. That's just one facet of the game. And um, you can out rebound people and, and win all the time. So, um, you know, but it was it was nice to see the guys, um, you know, um, it felt familiar that way, which uh, hopefully is something that we can build off of. Coach Snow, my and Kerr in this one, I know he's been dealing with the injuries. There were a chance we might see him tomorrow, game time decision maybe, just how's he looking? Yeah, he uh, he won't be playing tomorrow. Chris, what did you think about playing your first conference game in an atmosphere, what you saw tonight? I mean, it was something we really haven't seen all year anywhere around the country. Fun. Um, I was nervous, which is cool. Um, you know, I, I knew they would, those folks do a good job and they ha have a, as good of an environment as you can have considering the circumstances. And um, so it felt like a road game. 
you know, and, and we wanted it to feel like a road game. You know, we thrive in, in normal times playing in other people's courts in front of packed houses. And for whatever reason, our guys have, have done pretty well in those type of situations. So I expected us to embrace it. And uh, I thought they did. I don't, you know, I don't think being on the road had a lot to do with um, the outcome of the game, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, it had been, we hadn't played in a game like that all year long. <laughs> we played three ninety ones and at CSUN with no fans. So it felt like college basketball again. Certainly I'm you know, crushed by the outcome and our kids are too, but it was, it was, uh, it felt good to compete and, and be in a, in a tight game and where it was important and both teams were um, going at one another. And obviously both staffs that did a lot of preparing for, for these games. And um, so, so, Certainly, again, you know, we're, we're devastated by the outcome, but um, it was it was fun to, uh, you know, it's almost February, and for the first time all season, it felt like college basketball from, from where I stand um, during the game. Any other questions for Coach, guys? You guys are tame, man. I appreciate it. Wow. Got me on a loss and you're going to let me off the hook. It's only because you're so, it's an emotional time right now. We get it. Like it's, I mean, what was it like to have really, I don't want to say your full team, but you, you already said it, that it was nice to have familiar faces out there tonight. I mean, what was your, your emotion going into that, knowing that Clayton Henry and Jabari Rice were going to play and that you were going to, really have your starting five out there that you haven't had all season long. Makes you a lot better coach. Makes you a lot better coach. Gives you a lot more confidence. Um, Cause you know, we play a lot of guys that have, have been around this program. I, we've got our biggest hurdle we have to overcome right now as a program going forward is the obvious. We need more trust um, in some of our new players and they've got to earn that trust in practice. And then obviously in, when they get in the game, they got to produce. And, you know, it's, it's an issue, you know, and, and again, I, you guys that know me well enough, like I, I'm not using this as an excuse. I promise you, I, I wanted to overcome it. I wanted to accept the challenge. I've embraced the challenge of, of the situation we're in. I think we played the least amount of division one games in the country, if I'm not mistaken. And, but I wanted to come out and say, Hey, you know, we're working. You know, we're going to overcome it. It's, it's a challenge. It's an opportunity. And, and we did it. And, and, and I hate that, that we didn't. Um, but going forward, you know, um, I guess my point was we just we haven't let any games. We haven't played games. We haven't had opportunities to get these guys real reps against real players when um, it's important. And there's um, distractions. And you can't replicate that in practice as much as you'd like to. It's still practice, especially when it's January. So it's hard and it's frustrating. Um, but I thought our kids competed, um, you know, tip of the hat to, to GCU. Um, you know, looks like we're gonna have some battle royales with them for, for um, you know, near future. Every time we play, I think it'll probably be a, a pretty strong and heated battle. But um, we've just, we've got to get, we've got to find a way to get more guys that are, we trust on the floor that can produce to take some pressure off the guys that have been around. All right, anything else for coach tonight, guys? Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. No Thank you for joining us. Yeah.